Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to calculate the square of a value using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and the first example is based on the data object that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see that at the top right of our studio a new data object appears which is called X. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that our data object x contains the value 5. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the square of this value in the R programming language. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 5. And in this line of code I'm specifying the name of our data object. Then I'm using this head operator and then I'm specifying the value 2 in order to tell R that I want to calculate the square of our data object x. So if you run line 5 of the code you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the value 25 is returned and the value 25 is the square of our input value 5. So in this first example I have explained how to calculate the square of a single value. However, it is also possible to calculate the square of multiple values that are stored in a vector. And this is what I want to show you in the next example. So for this example, I'm first going to create a vector object, which is called my vec. So if you run line 7 of the code, you can see that a new vector object appears at the top right of RStudio. And we can print this vector object to the RStudio console by running line 8 of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see that our vector object contains five values, the values 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, if you want to calculate the square of each of these values, then we can apply basically the same code as we already did in the first example, as you can see in line 10 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm specifying the name of our vector object, my vec. Then I'm specifying the head operator and then I'm specifying the value 2 to tell R that I want to calculate the square of each element of our vector. So if you run line 10 of the code, you can see at the bottom that a new vector object is returned, which is also consisting of five values. And each of these values is the square of the corresponding input value of our input vector. So one is the square of one, 4 is the square of 2, 9 is the square of 3, and so on. In the next example, I want to show you an alternative way on how to calculate the square of a vector. And this is what I'm showing in line 12 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm using the multiply sign instead of the head sign, as you can see in line 12. And in front of the multiply sign and after the multiply sign, we need to specify the name of our data object. So in this case, our vector object is called myVec. So if you run line 12 of the code, you can see that exactly the same output is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. So in other words, whether you want to use the multiply sign or the head sign is a matter of taste. In the last example of this video, I want to show you how to calculate the square of a data frame. So for this, we also need to create some example data and we can do that by running lines 14 to 16 of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears, which is called my data. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 17 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a data frame containing four rows and three columns, x1, x2, and x3. And all of these columns contain numeric values. Now again, if we want to calculate the square of each value in our data frame matrix, then we can apply the head operator, as you can see in line 19 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that another data frame is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see, we have calculated the square of each value of our input data frame. So in this video, I have explained how to calculate the square of a single value of a vector or of a data frame. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. 
I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me a thumbs up on the video. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.